Hey guys, it's Mark Geek. In this video, I just want to share with you guys a hands-on look of the Samsung DeX on the Galaxy Note 9 with just using a cable. Yes, um, this is a normal USB-C cable to HDMI that I purchased like uh, almost two months ago. And the reason that I've been using this cable is because where I work, there's no Wi-Fi, right? There's no internet. So I normally use this cable to send my image phone to the monitor and that way i can watch like my netflix or, or hulu or anything like that because there's i can't stream it right and it works perfectly good so now when i got the galaxy note 9 i realized let's go ahead and try it out and see if it actually works same as the galaxy note 8 right so when i did that right let's go and see this connected right it connects directly to the tv right this is the way i've been actually using it now it's flickering a little bit but it, it will it will get stable in a while uh, but what i did notice is that not only can you stream the screen of your phone to the monitor um, if you swipe down there's an option here that says tap here to switch to samsung dex i'm like what i never saw that before so let's go ahead and tap right there right and look at that the screen loading up samsung dex there you have it samsung dex is now loaded up on the screen and on the phone i can still go ahead and do whatever the hell i want now if i want to use the phone as a touchpad because right i don't have a keyboard right now or a mouse i can actually you tap right here and it says use the phone as your mouse pad so now it switches the phone to a mouse pad there and now i can use my finger and over here just disregard that notice right there and just keep on working on the screen there i'm gonna show you guys how samsung dex says for those that are new to samsung dex what it is is that samsung like two years ago um started on uh, loading like a special desktop os to the um, samsung galaxy phones the latest one i think is the note 8 and note 9 and s7 8 and 9 i think it is uh, but what it is is that it lets you back in the day right a couple years ago or last year uh, you'd actually need a separate device hook your phone to that device and it will turn your phone into a full-blown computer where you have a desktop you have your folders you have your taskbar your application everything opens up um like a uh, full screen or you could drag things around you could save things you could create documents so everything you can do in a computer basically you will be able to do it here with your phone connected to the monitor so now here i'm just going to be using my phone as the touchpad and i'm just going to open files that way you guys can see have an idea how this actually works like see there you open application you could uh, drag down the applications um here you can actually see all the application applications you have opened right here you got like the app store right here for samsung um, here I got the Explorer. Uh, here I got the internet browser. Uh, this is, of course, Samsung browser. But like you see, there, I can go ahead and go through. Um, I could go through um, all my websites, you know, connected there to the phone. That's cool. Uh, and these right here are basically the website I've been basically on my phone when I'm using this browser. So I can just lower down there, lower down there. Um, I can also create documents here if I had Windows. Uh, this is the trial version, but right now, look at here, you can actually use your fingers to move around. This is, of course, the trial version of Windows Word. Um, here, if you tap right here, it will show you guys how to actually work with gestures. So right now, you tap to choose. Um, then you two fingers will actually show menu right or, or settings uh two fingers to swipe uh you could pinch uh touch and hold to move objects so of course if I, if I tap right there i can actually go see my settings right i could go ahead and switch to another screen or um not screen but wallpaper there you go switch to wallpaper there you go and of course over here like i said this right here is like a taskbar where i can see that i can see my notifications if i tap right here i can see my notifications on my phone uh bluetooth devices i can see my alarms right here i got my wi-fi got my internet service my battery percentage there i can see that as well 
Um, here I can go ahead and see other toggles there. My toggles for the phone. Um, of course, I can go ahead and make this smaller if I want. Look at that. Uh, over here is what? What's this? This is to, to unlock. Yeah, right here is locked. So let's go ahead and unlock. Um, this is labs. This uh, is basically like uh, some applications or some features that lets you try out but uh, are still in experimental stage, like force apps to resize, uh, open last app. You could do that if you want. Um, if you go over here, tap right here. Let me see if I actually went to settings. No, I didn't go to settings. But if I tap here in settings, it opens up setting and now here you got the settings for your phone right this are all the settings for your phone but you also have samsung dex settings there so here you got all the options for the samsung dex you got wallpaper screen resolution keyboard mouse track uh samsung dex lab set default audio how to use dex and so on so on okay let's go and keep on over here you got um keyboard you can use the keyboard for your phone on your phone here that's cool uh, let's see what else you can also the volume if I want to take a screenshot boom it takes a screenshot right there really cool and I could go ahead and share it or crop it or do whatever I want I could search right there if I want cool and of course I got here I got the calendar opens up the calendar so like you see there, it looks like basically like a full-blown desktop PC or Mac or Linux or something like that. Over here, if I tap, I can see all the applications on my phone and a lot of these applications. Most of them, I think every single one of them will actually open here in Dex. But there is an option over here that says Apps for Samsung Dex. So if you click on one of these, it will actually take you to the Samsung store and show you guys all the apps that are actually optimized to work perfectly good with um, Samsung Dex. So you got a whole bunch of here. You got paid. You got free. Oh, it says no paid. You got free. You got new here. You got some games there available as well. And that's it. So over here. You tap right there, you can see your recent applications. Or like I could go ahead and tap right here. And it takes me to one of the applications. Or I could tap right here, it takes me to another application. So if you use a computer before, you know what to expect here, right? You close all and it closed absolutely everything that was open. You see that now there's nothing open there. And here you got home, which is these buttons are basically the buttons that you find on your phone. And this is back. And that's it. So that's how it actually works. It works really damn nice. Tap and hold. It's going to change the wallpaper again. It's going to change to this one, which is cool. There you go. Oh, nice red one. Oh, yeah. That looks beautiful. Really nice. Uh, but um, that's it, guys. That's all I wanted to share with you guys that now with the Galaxy Note 9, uh, you really do not need any device whatsoever. I actually received a dock device uh, where I can actually use do um, Samsung DeX on any monitor using that device. But now that I have a cable that will let me do it, be and this is not an official Samsung cable. Uh, it is recommended to use Sam the Samsung cable that they're selling. Like you saw there in the beginning, the screen was flickering a little bit, and it's because the, the, the cable is not 100% optimized to work with Samsung DeX. But like you see here, it is totally serviceable. It works, it does, it's doing the job that the cable, most likely Samsung's gonna sell you for a whole bunch of money. Uh, this cable actually cost me $10, I think it was. No, like, yeah, like $14 because this this cable is actually HDMI to USB-C and it's actually 4K compatible. So it cost me around $14 to $15 on Amazon. I'll leave the links for that cable there. If you have a Bluetooth keyboard, you can actually sync the Bluetooth keyboard uh, to the phone and actually just work on the TV like that. For example, if you have one of these keyboards, you know, that has the touchpad and it has the keyboard and Bluetooth, you can actually do that. But this one is actually not Bluetooth. So I can't actually show you guys doing this because this one actually uses the v, uh, receiver. 
but I can't do it unless, of course, you buy one of those dongles for your phone that you can actually hook up the USB-C plus a normal USB plus Ethernet plus HDMI. Yes, you will be able to do that. I'm pretty sure it should work, right? I'm not guaranteeing it, but I'm pretty sure it should work. Then you can, I, I would actually be able to use my keyboard like that. Other than that, like see here, the reason it's flickering is because the cable is hanging. And then every time I move it, it it's going to be the screen is going to be going to black uh but just like that guys it works perfectly good and i was actually surprised how good it actually works and that is really cool so right here switch again to mirror my phone this is normally how i use this at work because I, I can actually watch netflix full screen there but now i can actually go here switch to samsung dex oh yeah that is awesome so guys thanks for watching this video i just want to share this uh little tip for you guys just in case you're interested or you have one of these cables and want to try it out try it out because you don't need to buy anything more all you need to do is just get go ahead and plug your phone to a monitor via hdmi and that's it that's it you're gonna get be able to switch between samsung decks or your the screen of your phone that's it that's all you need so thanks for watching this video guys if you if you have any questions please ask it in the comments till next time guys bye bye